Alright, what up YouTube? Doom NYC here with another archetype update. Uh, this one's going to be breaking down Gem Knight. So, uh, there's a lot of hype behind this deck and for good reason because it's pretty good. has um, pretty good support. Um, so, I'm here to tell you guys what you can expect from the archetype. So, first off, let's start off with the stuff from Photon Shockwave. We got Gem Turtle. This was a super rare in the set and it's pretty decent. It's a zero attack, 2000 defense, and basically has a flip effect that when it's flipped face up, you can add one Gemini Fusion from your deck to your hand. This is obviously good because now you have a way to search out your Fusion card, which is fantastic. Uh, a lot of most decks, you know, if you're going to run Fusion Monsters, you need a way to search out for your Fusion stuff. So, uh, this is definitely good. I would recommend running this at two and possibly three depending on you know how your build is set up so definitely you run that guy um then we got the other card from photon shockwave is gem knight emerald and basically you can this guy's 1800 attack 800 defense earth um rock type he's not too bad his effect is you can banish him and one other face up uh, gem knight monster you control to special summon one gem knight fusion monster from your extra deck that's actually sorry not from your extra deck from the graveyard that's actually pretty good um if you've got a you know a ruby or a topaz or something in the grave you can uh you know banish this and something else and, and special summon it that's pretty decent uh, more than likely I'm thinking that maybe this deck may have something to bring back banished stuff but because if you guys know about the spell card it does banish the st uh, cards to bring it back so uh, this is a pretty decent card just because it's 1800 attack the effect to me is kind of secondary but can be useful I would play one or two of these in the deck um, next we go on to hidden arsenal 5 so we've got gem knight alexandrite and this guy's 1800 attack 1200 defense and basically you can tribute this card to special summon one gem knight normal monster from your deck so that's pretty decent um, anytime you need to get those garnets to your hand or I mean garnet to the field really fast you summon this guy and you can tribute them off and get your stuff. Uh, this is very, very good in my opinion. I mean, the 1800 attack is decent, but being able to thin out your deck is very key. I would run this at two or three. So this is this should definitely be like a staple in the deck. Next up, we've got Gem Armadillo. This guy's awesome. He's your Stratos in the deck. Uh, there's no debate about this. Basically, he's 1700 attack, 500 defense, and he can basically, once he's normal summoned, you add one Gem Knight monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, there's no question that you run this at three. You don't even think about it. This guy's way too good. So, three of those in the deck. Next up, let's go on to normal monsters. We got Gem Knight Garnet. This is the guy that you're mainly going to want to get all the time. 1900 attack, zero defense, but he's a beat stick, so you want to run this guy. And he's also the fusion material for the best fusion monster. And he's normal monster, so you add in Rescue Rabbit, and there you go. You got something good right there. So three of these for sure in the deck. Three Gem Knight Garnets. Now we're going to go into Gem Knight Sapphire. It's another normal monster. Uh, Earth type, zero attack. 2100 defense 2100 defense is very good not many regular level fours are getting over this so uh it's pretty good do you run this in your your gem knight deck uh maybe maybe not um honestly to be honest if you're gonna play uh rescue rabbit then you may run it but if not i wouldn't the fusion monster with this guy is also not that great so again it's possible so you either run this at three or you don't run it at all um next up we've got gem knight tourmaline and this guy's decent stats 1600 attack 1800 defense so more than likely you can set this and still be okay uh normal monster earth again um it's funny because he's thunder type and he's earth but you know whatever 
Uh, definitely, if you're going to play Rabbit, run three of these because it's better than Sapphire in my opinion. So, there you go. Now, for this guy, Gem Merchant. This guy is pretty awesome. A thousand attack, a thousand defense, which is fitting because of his effect. Uh, basically, you can discard him for one face up earth normal monster, which all the normal monsters in this deck are earth. And then they gain a thousand attack and defense until the end phase. So, if you've got, you know, your Garnet on the field and you want to attack and you have like three merchants in your hand, you basically attack, discard, discard, discard. And then you say Happy New Year. And then basically you just dealt like 4,900 attack. The 4,900 damage. That's ridiculous. So Gem Merchant, you definitely are going to run three of these guys. Like without question. Okay, that's the monsters. Let's go on to the spells. Let's go. We got Gem Knight Fusion. This card is obviously very key in the deck. Um, you should be running three of these. Uh, you need it for your Gem Knight Fusions. And... Once you use it and it goes to the grave, you can banish one Gem Knight monster from the grave and bring this back to your hand. Uh, this is obviously very, very good in that aspect. Um, it also makes it so that you probably wouldn't even have to run three of these. You could maybe get away with two. So again, that's very good. So I would recommend running this at two or three. Um, we go to the trap cards. We got one Gem Enhancement. Uh, you can tribute a gem knight to target one gem knight monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Uh, it's okay. It's not really that great. Again, f as far as uh, you know, m revival effects go, Monster Born is still tops in my book. So honestly, I don't think I'm gonna play this card. It's because then you have to tribute a monster. It's just it's a minus one. It's I don't think it's that good. So I my recommendation is you don't play this. Okay, now we go on to the fusions. We start off with Gem Knight Ruby, which is the best fusion monster in the archetype. 2500 attack, 1300 defense. Uh, it requires Gem Knight Garnet and one other Gem Knight monster. So you can use two Garnets to get this guy. Um, basically, once you bring this on the field, if you've got another Gem Knight monster, you can tribute it off. This guy gains that monster's attack and um he does piercing damage so that's exceptional this guy is your ace monster in the deck by far so in your extra deck you may run two or three of those um gem knight topaz you need tourmaline and another gem knight 1800 attack 1800 defense so 1800 both ways and basically this guy can attack twice during each battle phase and um if he destroys a monster by battle, you inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. So again, that's pretty good. It's, this is very good actually for getting rid of Reborn Tengu because they have Reborn Tengu. You bring this guy out, you attack, you deal 100 for the difference, then you deal 1700 for Tengu's attack. Then you attack again and the same exact thing. And before you know it... Your opponent just lost like 3,600 a town, 3,600 life. That's that's huge. So definitely I would play one or two of these in the extra deck. Now we go on to the last one, Gem Knight Aquamarine. This guy's 1,400 attack, 2,600 defense. Requires Gem Knight Sapphire and another Gem Knight to get this guy out on the field. And basically his effect is if he attacks, he goes to defense at the end of the battle phase. And then when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, target one card your opponent controls and send it back to their hand. Um, again, that's not really that good. Sending a card back, I mean, granted, if it's an Exceed or a Synchro, then that may be beneficial. But if it's just a regular monster spell or trap, you are not really gaining anything there. So 1400 attack is not that great. He is a level 6, so if you do get... A level 2 tuner you can make a level 8 but again I wouldn't really want to play this guy his effect is negligible at best so don't play this if you do play sapphires play one of these in your extra deck but one max and that's about it guys so that is the gem knight archetype breakdown um tell me what you guys think to let me know if you guys are gonna play it or not I'll definitely make the deck and have that deck up for you soon as soon as I get the rest of the cards so 
That's about it for now, YouTube. Until next time, peace.